Hi everybody! Welcome to my channel. Today's video is just going to be about some things that I found at Goodwill today. And I also swung by my Hot Topic just to see what they had and they do have some sales going on. So let me first start with what I found at Goodwill and then we'll move on to Hot Topic. Um, at Goodwill I only found books. Unfortunately I didn't find anything that was really worth picking up so, uh, besides the books. So we'll start from my Gold Edge ones. I found three. A uh, surprise for Mickey. Mickey Mouse Heads for the Sky and Cars. And then I found another like little kids one where it's uh, this one's a story about taking turns the mix up morning. Mixed up morning, sorry. And then I found these. These were kind of like a set. Um, but these are the only ones they had. I found Aladdin 102 Dalmatians. The Jungle Book, The Emperor's New Groove, and another Mickey Mouse one. And then this book that I found was really old, honestly. Um, I looked on the inside of it, and the cop the first copyright it says was from 1928, wicked old. But then I did see another one that said that it was uh, it renewed. The copyright was renewed in 1957. And then I did see another one, uh, another thing that said it was actually printed in 1977, so still old. <laughs> but this one, the Winnie the Pooh, the Unbouncing of Tears, this is the old one that I found. And that's all I found at Goodwill. Uh, for Hot Topic, uh, they have a thing going on where it's buy one get one half off, or buy one get one for ten. It just depends on what you're buying, but I think throughout the whole store they've got a sale thing going on, buy one get one. So what I got there was just a few things, some small things. Let me first show you these little pins. Sorry if you can't see it on the camera. I'll try. To, I'll take pictures of them so you can see them. Um, I got five little pins, and the first one I actually got this one for my uncle because he likes Lilo and Stitch. I got him the Lilo and Stitch one. It says Ohana means family. And then these four I got for me, and this one's an aerial one that says Go on and kiss the girl. Sorry if you can't that. <laughs> and then I got Tinkerbell. Uh, I got The Lion King with Simba on it. And I got a Kingdom Hearts. If you don't know what Kingdom Hearts is and you're a Disney fan, I recommend it. And if you like playing video games, I definitely recommend it. Kingdom Hearts is like a Final Fantasy slash Disney mixture it's an adventure fighting game. It and they're making they're working on a third run a third one right now. It's I think it's supposed to be released this year. I'm not putting my hopes on that because honestly, for the work they're putting into it, it's probably gonna be in two thousand fifteen that it probably comes out. But it still says to be announced two thousand fourteen, so I'm waiting for the third game to come out. But if you have not played Kingdom Hearts and you are a Disney fan, I definitely recommend it. It's an awesome game. Um, another thing that I got at Hot Topic, and this was my my bigger priced item. This one was twelve dollars, and it's the Beauty and the Beast necklace. It's got the stained glass look with the rose in the background, well, the rose in the center of it. So that's something I got for my my Beauty and the Beast outfit that I have. And then something else I got were these here. They were ninety eight cents each at Hot Topic and of course it was buy one get one for half off so I got one cheaper but they're they're called cell plugs and they go into the audio jack of your phone where you plug your headphones in and just for a little Disney decoration so I got Mulan and Jasmine um, and that's all I found shopping wise today um, some news that I want to share with you guys is while I was shopping at my mall, which the mall that I shot I was shopping at was the Opry Mills Mall in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, you know, Nashville's big on the music, the country thing, so they have the the Grand Old Opry, but right next to it there's a shopping area called the Opry Mills Mall, and that's where they have the Disney Store and the Hot Topic. Well, normally if you're walking through a mall, you see in the middle of the stores there's other little custodian things that are placed throughout kiosks sorry kiosk things that are placed throughout the store where they sell like 
cell phone cover covers or jewelry or stuff like that. Well, there was one there, and it was a big art display, and at first I was just like, oh, that's cool. They got, they're displaying some art, and so I went over there to look at it, and first what I was seeing on the outside was a bunch of um, religious paintings of the crosses and stuff, and it was very beautiful, and I'm, I'm thinking this art looks so familiar, and then I go onto the inside of his display because he's got it set up as a U, and I go to the inside and he's got all his Disney art. And I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name, but the first name is Thomas. And I'm pretty sure you guys have seen his art throughout the internet. No matter where you go when it comes to Disney, I'm pretty sure you're seeing his artwork. But I actually got to meet him. I shook his hand. I introduced myself. It was such an honor to meet a brilliant artist. I mean, the detail, if you've actually looked at his work, the detail in his work is just amazing. <laughs> So that's something I wanted to share. I felt so honored to meet him at random chance just by walking through the mall. So I just wanted to share with everybody. And that's all I've got for you this video. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, rate, like my page. You know what to do. Until then, later.